I'm studying for my exam, I'm taking you through everything. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually 3 p.m. right now. <laughs> I have to laugh. <laughs> I have to laugh. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I procrastinated and I ended up doing my makeup. And what about it? I'm gonna show you how I prepare for an exam the day before. Like my courses are literally so difficult this semester. I have to study for it, otherwise I will fail. There's no way natural ability will get me through this. So I'm gonna show you everything. Period. We've got this together. Yep, pound it, bitch. Yo, let's go. I think I damaged my camera by doing that. But anyway. Okay, so I'm going to vlog everything. But, bef but before we do that, I have four steps which you can do to ace your exam. So let's get into it. Step one. Look in your syllabus and write out everything you need to know. And then highlight the most important parts. And use a three color coder system. So red for... I literally don't know what's going on in this topic. Orange for, uh, I kind of know it, but I need to revise a little bit more. Green for, I'm good to go. Start with the content that's red, then progress to orange, then progress to dark green ones. You know what, the green ones you might not even have to do because it was so short on time. So, period, that's what I do. Secondly, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. 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 The Reading the notes aloud, I don't know, it's just magic. I did it all throughout high school and everything in my brain was like <laughs> like I could recite it. Three, practice questions. Practice questions are more important than reading your notes because that's where you can actually implement your knowledge and see how well you know the content. And if you don't know it, you look at the answers, you go back and forth and then you're learning. Step four, before you go to bed, read your notes because you're gonna commit it to memory and as you're sleeping, your memory is gonna like... It will do something. I already forgot. Man, I need to study more because I already forgot this part of my course. <laughs> but you're gonna commit it to memory. Something to do with the recency effect. The recency effect is an o diary presentation of facts that occurs when more recent information is better presented if I remember. I received greater weight in forming the judgment than those earlier presented information. So those are four quick tips you can do, bitch. Also, this is a tip that I like to use. If you have trouble procrastinating like me and you'll look at the time and it'll be 12 o'clock and you're like, oh, okay, if I go to bed at 12 a.m., I have 12 hours to study. And then it becomes one o'clock and you're like, oh no, I still have 11 hours. Like that's still pretty good. And you keep going until it's 12 a.m. and you're like, shit, I haven't done anything. Change the time on your phone and your laptop. Make it a really random number and that way you're never going to know the time and you can't really procrastinate. Isn't that right, Melody? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been procrastinating. I was She should study. I gotta chill. But a good way to get motivated to study for your exam is to listen to motivational speeches, which is what I'm going to do right now. Oh my God, my forehead is so big. Don't look at it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to eat, because you can go 21 days. I said, when you want to Knowledge. Succeed. So I also listen to binaural beats when I study if I need to concentrate really badly. And I listen to this ADHD one because I low-key think I have ADHD, no cap. Okay, let's study. <laughs> I don't get it. My content is so hard. What I'm telling myself is that everything happens for a reason and in divine timing. If I fail, I fail. And what about it? The universe wanted me to fail. And maybe I'm making an excuse, but what about it? I also study and blog some 90 minutes and then I have a 15 minute break. I find that works best for me. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store now and get a little snack. I got my shoes on. I'm not gonna lie, it's currently four o'clock. And I, I was lying on my bed for like <laughs> an hour. God knows what I was doing. But let's go have another break. Then I actually legit need to study. Ew. 
Why do I look like that? Ew, that looks so gross. Ew! It's 4.30 right now. When I study, I don't really get to eat um, a proper dinner. So I bought this and it's literally disgusting. Let's have a taste test. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's terrible. It's disgusting. I think it's still frozen. Ew. Simone is doing Quizlets. I'm gonna do some Quizlets now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simone is having a break after doing Quizlets for 45 minutes. I'm so tired. I'm eating chocolate. And I'm just reading my notes now. It's six o'clock. I'm gonna show you how I read my notes aloud. You know what I do? I simply read them out. There's something called a memory palace or a mind palace. I can't remember, but you like pick a room in your house and then you assign information to the different objects, I think. And that's what I do. <laughs> I'm going to do some yoga now. I'm cleaning off my yoga mat because I have so much stuff on the ground. I'm gonna do some yoga um, and some meditation actually. Anyway, so I'm doing a root chakra meditation and I find exams like really, really unbalance my root chakra. And if you don't know what your root chakra is, if you're starting to feel like insecurity or among many other factors, your root chakra is probably really unbalanced and that can affect all of your other chakras. And I find that during exams, I'm not grounded at all. Like you can tell on my videos, I'm very like, you know? So doing root chakra meditations and listening to root chakra by neural beats can really help. So please calm your mind and listen to the frequencies of the meditation. Yoga time. Okay, y'all wanna do this yoga with me? I'm not changing because I can't be bothered. But I use the Tara Styles 5 minute yoga workout. And basically, you start off. Can you see me? Breathe out. Pull your hands out here. Plank position. Hold. Upward dog. I'm really inflexible because I haven't done this in so long. Like, I need a workout. I like to crack my back. I have scoliosis, BTW. Child's position. Child's pose is really great for relieving stress. And I like to hold it for a bit. And then come up. Downward dog. And I can't do downward dogs like I used to because I'm really inflexible. And then, you know, one leg up. You would do this more slowly, obviously, but I'm in a rush. Warrior number something position. Ow. Oh my god, my pelvic bone. Whatever, I'm done. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go back to studying now. Bye. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Voy a cerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra. Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán. Madre quiero saber. En verdad quién soy yo. Y sí. Tal vez tengo un síndrome Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes En médica